Here's a short video of my Santa Fe locomotive. As you can see, it's not too bad for its age. And it hasn't got a split in there like the old one I had, so that's good. And the problems are, or were, that the soundboard that I bought a while ago, I do believe my friend John Mallard sent me, um, mine died. Either the wire area fell off or something, so I had another one purchased. My good friend Rick rebuilt this one for me, and he put lights in there, lights in there. And as I say, I had a new soundboard sent, because I still have this device. And when you press a button, you can see the lights work, so you know what that is. The new soundboard came with a much smaller speaker than mine. I've tried it, I put a, a bit of a sort of toilet rolly cardboardy thing, but it's no louder when it runs. Also, this metal is a nightmare, what we call in England, to solder. And I think if there's any Americans on here, it's solder. There's the soundboard. The original speaker went in the hole down there. What I've done is I've put the black wire from the soundboard, I drilled the hole and screwed it on. Because I can't, in English, solder. Because our solder is absolutely no good to solder American wires on American model locomotives. I do have two solder lines. One's got 90 watts on, one's got 30 watts on. And they're both good makes, so it's not me, and it's not the equipment. It's obviously, for one thing, this is probably a 1980s locomotive, so I would imagine it could just be the age of the wires. It's the same with my big Challenger. I've took photographs of that as well. And them wires are a nightmare to solder. But this is a little video, mainly for people probably in England, if they don't know what American gauge locomotives look like. The intention is to try and put the soundboard into me B unit, which I do have, which will go behind that locomotive when it's on the track. But that's another problem because there's no pickups on the bogies on the B unit. But there you go. That's um that's oh well, and by the way it only seems to want to go forward no matter where I put the the lever on the on the E unit, it only wants to go forward. I have taken a photograph deep in there because I do believe there's a wire broken, and that's going to be a nightmare because if it, if it won't solder in English, even if I could find a long enough bit of wire, then it definitely won't solder or solder without your proper things. So to make things worse. It only goes forward. But that doesn't really matter. Not one little bit. Because 